Hey lovely people, welcome back once again to another exciting episode of Tisha's Biz Collection. I'm Miss Tisha's. Today, let me share with you how to make this beautiful and cute handmade beaded bag. Before we start, do all to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button. Let's get started. Materials needed. So you cut your fish line, you make sure it's long enough. You cut it off and we are using 0.70 mm. So you make sure you have the ends of the fish line. And then you pick six beads. Fix all six beads on any of the fish line, being it's the left side or the right side. And then you cross with the last bead using the other side of the fish line which is the seed bead make sure you have the ends of the fish line you pull it out then you have your first ring done then you go on and pick five beads fix all five beads on the left fish line cross with the fifth bead using the other side of the fish line you make sure you have the ends of the fish line you pull it out then you have your second ring done then this time with the right fish line you go through this bead then on this fish line you fix four beads and then you cross with the fourth bead using the right fish line you pull it out and then you have your third ring done then with the right fish line you go through the next bead Fix four beads again on the left fish line. You cross with the fourth bead using the right fish line. You pull it out. Then you have your um, fourth ring done. Then with the right fish line, you go through the next bead again. Fix four beads again on the left fish line. Cross with the fourth bead. Pull it out. Then you go through the next bead. Go through the next bead. Fix four beads again, cross with the fourth bead, you pull it out. Then this time with the right fish line, you go through the next two beads here, one, two. Then you fix three beads and then you cross with the third bead using the right fish line. You pull it out. Then with the right fish line, you go through this bead. So this is the first round. That's what you should get. We added all up to six. So on this fish line, you fix four beads. And then you cross with the fourth bead using the right fish line. You pull it out. So we are starting a new step or a new round then with the right fish line you go through this bead so this time this part is six this round part is six and then this part has to be five so we have two here then you fix three beads you cross with a third bead cross with a third bead you pull it out so that side will add up to five then with the right fish line, you go through the next two beads here. So as you can see, we have six here. We have five here. So this part has to be six. So we add that side up to six. So you fix three beads because we already have three beads there. You cross with the third bead using the right fish line. You pull it out. Then you add it up to six. Then with the next one, you go through this bead, this one bead here. And then you fix three beads again, you cross with the third bead. Using the right fish line, you pull it out and then you add that side up to five. So you go through the next two beads, fix three beads again, cross with the third bead. Using the right fish line, you pull it out and then you get six on this side then you go through the next one bead fix three beads again cross with the third bead pull it out and then you go through the next two beads so this side anytime you go through the next two beads 
you add up to six anytime you go through the one bead you add up to five so all you have to do now is to pick three beads and then you get the number you want it sums up to the number you want so i using the same method for this round So when I get to the last thing, you go through the next two beads here. And then we have three beads here. We are summing that side up to five. So you fix two beads. And then you cross with the second bead using the right fish line. You pull it out. Then it sums up to five. So with this round, you should have six five six five six five six five six five six five all round that is what you should do for this round and then going through the next round on this fish line you fix three beads you cross with the third bead using the right fish line you pull it out and this round we are summing up to four 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 we need to get four all round so you go through the next bead and then you fix two beads on the left fish line cross the second bead using the right fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next one bead you fix two beads again on the left fish line cross the second bead using the right fish line and then you weave on with the same method When you get to the last end, you go through the next two beads here. And then you pick one bead and cross it both sides of the fish line. You pull it out. And then my fish line is short, so I'm going to pass it through to secure this part of the work. And this is what you should get after you are done. So this is the mat we are using. I'm going to weave around it to form the sides of the bag. So with a new fish line, you can go through any of the bits you want. So I'm going through this bit here. You pull it out and then on this fish line, you fix three beads. You cross with the third bead. Then you make sure you have the ends of the fish line, pull it out. So one side of the fish line will be longer than the other. Then with the right fish line, you go through the next bead here. Then you fix two beads again on the left fish line, cross with the second bead using the right fish line. You pull it out. Then with the right fish line, you go through the next bead here. Then you fix two beads again on the left fish line, cross with the second bead using the right fish line. You pull it out and then you move on with the same method. So this time when you get to the last end, on the right fish line, you fix two beads, then you cross with the second bead using the left fish line so you can turn like this. Then on this fish line, you fix three beads, and then you cross with the third bead using the right fish line, then you go through the next bead. Fix two beads again on the left fish line, you cross with the second bead using the right fish line. Then you go through the next bead. Then you are going to weave all around to this path, leaving five at the top. That is the entrance to the bag. So this is what you should get after you are done. And this is the sides of the bag and this one side of it. So I made the same thing offline, the same size, the same shape. Also left five at the top. I'm going to join it together to get the full shape of the bag so my fish line is long enough and i'm going to use the same thing for that so on this fish line you fix one bead then with that same fish line where you fixed the bead you go through the first bead on the other side of the bag you pull it out so you have the beads in the middle of both sides then you pick one bead again and cross with both sides of the fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line, you go through the next bead. With the left fish line, you go through the next bead. 
fix one bead again and cross with both sides of the fish line. You pull it out, make sure it's very tight. Then with the right stitch line, you go through the next bead. With the left stitch line, you go through the next bead. Fix one bead again and cross with both sides of the fish line. You pull it out and then you weave on with the same method till you get to the other end. And this is what you should get after you are done. As you can see, we have the bag nicely made down. So I'm going to pass the excess fish line through to secure this part of the work. And you have your bag nicely made out. This is the full body of the bag. I left five at the top. Please don't forget that. And I have my bag chains. I'm going to attach it on this side of the bag. So you have it nicely attached and this is how your bag looks but we are not done yet. You can fix in a drawstring bag or a sack bag depending on how you call it at your place. You just fix it inside and then you pull the strings and then you have your bag nicely in it. So beautiful and cute. So this is what we are using for the bag. You can make this bag in any color of your choice for your occasions. Please give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more and more of my tutorials. Make sure to comment and share as well. Stay safe. See you in my next video. Have a nice day and bye.